To apportion this Congress using the Hamilton method, the first thing we must do is sum up the total population of the state of Alabama. To do that, we go to the end of the column C and click on Sum and hit Enter. And that'll be the total population, so we'll entitle that Pop. We then must decide how many seats we are going to apportion. For this example, let's use 200. And then we will calculate our standard divisor. The standard divisor, we're going to use a formula to calculate. So we'll hit equal to, and then we'll point at the population, and it's divided by the number of seats hit enter. So it will calculate our standard divisor for us. Now we need to calculate our standard quotas. We'll widen the column a little bit so we can see that. The standard quota is also a formula so we hit equal and it will be the population divided by standard divisor. And what we'll need to do is in the formula bar between the C and the 71, pull a dollar sign. Once we've done that, we can drag this all the way down the page. And once all of this is highlighted, we'll need to right click in the shaded area, format the cells. And we need to format this number So that's five decimal places. So now we can see all the decimal places as well. The next thing we need to do is the rounded quota. We will also increase the width of this column. The rounded quota will also be a formula. Be equal to INT, open parentheses, and we'll point at the standard quota close parentheses, and hit enter. Once that is done, we will drag it all the way down the page. We also need to sum these two columns. We sum that column, we should see 200. We sum that column, we should see that it's 164, so we're 36 seats short. Next, we need the decimal portion of all the standard quotas. To get that, we're going to use a formula. It'll be equal to the standard quota minus the rounded quota. And once I have it for the first one, We'll drag it all the way down the page. Now, what I actually need now are the largest 36 decimal portions. So what I need to do is I need to sort these. So I will paint all my data. Go to Data, Sort. And I want to sort this by decimal descending. I'll click OK. Now I have the largest ones at the top. And I'm going to assign extra seats. Once again I'll widen this column. And I'll put a 1 in the first cell. And I'll need to drag this down. Notice that I'll drag it down to the 37th row because we started in row 2. Now we'll skip a column and create our final apportionment. This will also be a formula. So I'll start with equal. It'll be the rounded quota plus extra seats. Once I've done it for the first cell, 
I'm going to drag it all the way down the page. And I will sum that column. And if done correctly, it should be 200. And the last thing I have to do is once again sort the data. So I highlight all of the data, go to Data, Sort. This time I want to sort by column A, which are the county names, ascending. And this should put them back in alphabetical order. And now I have the final apportionment for Alabama using 200 seats using the Hamilton method.